One of the things we want to talk about is from Colorado's perspective, that is energy. Uh, if we just say that this is what it looked like, that by in about four years time, uh, uh, the U.S. India economy or trade will double, which is some of the targets that we're looking at, and be one and a half times. Uh, we can see that uh, a significant part of that uh, can can be uh, energy related. Uh, uh, initiatives. I think there are lots of things that we have in common and, and yet lots of things that are different. What we need to understand as Colorado-based companies is how do we adapt uh, to make sure that what we are providing for uh, the solutions we are providing fits India's needs. Uh, so coming back to energy, this is what the energy looks like. Uh, what you're seeing on the left-hand side is in quad, uh, uh, quad or quadrillion BDUs. Uh, U.S. energy is kind of flat. This is what happened with China. They were angling along, and suddenly in 2001, they woke up, and their energy went from 4, 4, 40 quads to 100 quads in a span of less than 10 years. Nothing like that has ever happened in the world. U.S. energy consumption is going to be crossed by China. It was actually crossed by China last year. And the, the key thing is to focus. What we did was we did a tremendous amount of benchmarking to see what are the key factors that happened during this 10 years period of time. And we did a lot of uh, initiatives and comparisons with India uh, to see uh, what are the things that are going on. So, in case of India, there's all kinds of analysis that's been done. In the lowest case, uh, uh, their energy is going to be kind of ambling along like uh, what they were. But what's happening that you will, you will definitely from hear from the Indian team is India suddenly woke up in the late, mid, late decade, last decade, 2003, 2004, and they realized that if they have to keep growing at 9 to 10 percent, they will have to clean up their act on infrastructure starting with energy. And this is a great team to kind of start the dialogue with to see how do we kind of help make that happen. So what we are essentially saying is the same, the same thing what we experienced in China in the last 10 years can be done with this line we are showing, which is the invest business case. Uh, and uh, what do we need to make it happen? And what we are also saying is, unlike the developed countries and China's growth, where most of the growth happened completely depending on fossil fuel and essentially coal, uh, India's paradigm can be different. And we want to talk a little bit about it. We will not cover that today, but this is the start of the dialogue. So, the point I want to make here is China is going to still grow from 40 to 80 quads, but so will India. So, again, in Wayne Gretzky's term, we need to understand where the puck will be, and we need to understand what we need to do to be partnering with India in giving products and services that's adapted to their needs. So, this is where India is. Uh, you don't need to uh, look at the numbers. They will be there for you later on the presentation. But essentially, this is fossil fuel. This is coal. This is generation. The, if you look at the installed capacities, the installed capacities are more very closely profiled to what TJ just showed. About 56% is about coal. But since coal plants uh, run at about 75, 76% utilization capacity, uh, they land up having a big chunk. This is gas, this is diesel, and the one which are getting out essentially is nuclear, uh, wind, and biomass are the three. So what's going to happen is in the best case scenario, in an aggressive scenario, India's energy in the what they call the 12th year plan, which is going to start from March of 2012 to April of 2012 to March of 2017, 
uh, their energy is going to grow uh, by about almost uh, 105%. Uh, in the first part, despite significant growth in hydro and renewable energies, you will see that this, uh, this percentage is still about intact. What we need to see is how do we put things in place so that we can start transitioning very dramatically so that we have got a portfolio. So, one example I'd like to give, uh, in case you think 105% is in five years time seems daunting. Let me give you an example. Tata Power today has got three gigawatts of installed capacity. By 2017, they will be crossing 25 gigawatts. From one third the size of XL, uh, they would be twice the size of XL in five years flat. And they are just one of the private companies. What we are going to see is there is a tremendous sea change happening in India. Yes, there's a tremendous chaos too. Uh, let's not uh, un undermine that. But there's a tremendous sea change happening in the energy sector in India that we really need to start looking at and see how do we work these things out. So the last few things I want to leave it with the last few things I want to leave it with is uh, uh, this particular chart that here is about particular energy growth. Here is what it will look like if business as usual. This is the uh, fossil fuel consumption. This is what we are recommending India should transition to. The point I'm making here is to make this happen, the first thing we need to do is very dramatic changes in energy uh, 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 energy efficiency and smart grid initiatives uh, to, to, to manage demand side to, uh, uh, in all that area. Uh, the other area is to see how can we increase the uh, renewable energy side dramatically and that's what we hope to start the dialogue about today. Uh, with that, I want to just very quickly go back to what just two more minutes and say uh, what invest is about. Our vision is very simple. Imagine a handoff, clean, sustainable energy, fueling our economy, curing our environment, securing our children's future. That's what INVEST stands for. And what we are doing today is putting things in place to see how we can make that happen. So what we are focused on is very simple. We have targeted that 35% of our energy needs to come from sustainable energy sources by 2030. That will enable US to retain global leadership. And for India, that will enable India to become a true global leader in many senses. Uh, what I want to leave with you is this one last slide, is you can see that sustainable energy index in our, in our way of looking at it, we look at six key traits, and in that six key traits, we are looking at uh, from uh, uh, whether it's availability, carbon footprint, uh, 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 overall uh, ownership costs, in energy dependency, side effects, and job creation. And what you're seeing on here is all the energy clusters, and you will see that there's coal, there's oil, there's gas. Uh, what needs to happen is what we need to look at is how can we make this index work for countries in each of the areas. The last thing you will see on the side, if you can't read it, is essentially is the smart grid where the convergence of energy, telecom, and IT is happening, which is the smart grid initiatives. But what you will also see is what these were silos before. All these are going to also start converging. We will start seeing hybrid models. And what I'm going to leave you with is there's no silver bullet. We need to leverage our whole portfolio of energy options that will fuel our economy, cure our environment, secure our children's future. Thank you.